Ramzan Kadyrov, the protégé of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin in the Chechen Republic of Ichkeria, which was captured by the Russian armed forces, has once again decided to drive away the show-off by demonstrating push-ups from chairs right at a meeting in the Kremlin, according to Huckleberry Finn's blog. While the Kremlin brass, among whom one can see the head of the Russian foreign ministry, Sergei Lavrov, were discussing some personal matters, Kadyrov decided to show how strong he was, went up to the chairs, leaned against the backs and started doing push-ups. It is worth noting that at the angle chosen by Kadyrov, the physical load is minimal. Nevertheless, as the video showed, the Chechen viceroy only did three push-ups, after which he stopped his strange exercise, glancing at the group of Russian officials. He failed to attract the latter's attention. But no one, including Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who was also in attendance, seemed to be giving the bloodthirsty warlord the time of day, leaving him glumly leaning on two chairs. By the way, Kadyrov regularly demonstrates his power. Thus, on the hotline with the head of Chechnya, he did 35 push-ups and did the push-ups dirty, which led to criticism on the internet. He also likes to show off the bench press, although recently he has been photographed more often against the background of the equipment and can only pretend to start doing this exercise. In addition, Kadyrov often poses in boxing gloves and pretends to train in this difficult and dangerous sport. This isn't his first attempt to convince the world of his vitality. In his previous stunts, Kadyrov has channeled his inner Sylvester Stallone, training with rocks and pretending to tow an sport utility vehicle all on his own. One comment by opposition channel Gulagu Channel said, For whom did Ramzan decide to film this and why did he think that there were so many idiots around. It only takes a minute for any amateur athlete, not to mention a professional, to understand the level of Kadyrov's physical fitness. It's simply not good. He pushes and puffs with 7 kilograms and 14 kilogram dumbbells used by young girls and aspiring teenagers to warm up. Gulagu wrote, It is obvious that the idea to film this video failed and its authors made Ramzan out to be a clown and a weakling. The same week, he was seen speaking slowly in a monotone to his top aides, many of them uniformed in a video released to show he was in control. Kadyrov is one of Vladimir Putin's closest allies who has supplied tens of thousands of troops for his illegal war in Ukraine. NATO on Monday confirmed that North Korean troops have been sent to Russia to aid in its almost three-year war against Ukraine and that some have already been deployed in Russia's Kursk border region, where Russia has been struggling to push back a Ukrainian incursion. Today, I can confirm that North Korean troops have been sent to Russia, and that North Korean military units have been deployed to the Kursk region, NATO Secretary General Mark Ruta told reporters. Ruta said that the move represents a significant escalation in North Korea's involvement in the conflict and marks a dangerous expansion of Russia's war. His remarks came after a high-level South Korean delegation including top intelligence and military officials as well as senior diplomats briefed the alliance's 32 national ambassadors at NATO headquarters in Brussels. Ruta said NATO is actively consulting within the alliance with Ukraine and with our Indo-Pacific partners, on developments and that he is due to talk soon with South Korea's president and Ukraine's defense minister. We continue to monitor the situation closely, he said. Adding thousands of North Korean soldiers to Europe's biggest conflict since World War II will pile more pressure on Ukraine's weary and overstretched army, as well as stoking geopolitical tensions in the Korean Peninsula and the wider Indo-Pacific region, including Japan and Australia. Western officials say. Russian President Vladimir Putin is keen to reshape global power dynamics. He sought to build a counterbalance to Western influence with a summit of BRICS countries, including the leaders of China and India, in Russia last week. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, citing intelligence reports, claimed last Friday that North Korean troops would be on the battlefield within days. 
He previously said his government has information that some 10,000 troops from North Korea were being ready to join Russian forces fighting against his country. Days before Zelensky spoke, American and South Korean officials said there was evidence North Korea had dispatched troops to Russia. The US said around 3,000 North Korean troops had been deployed to Russia for training. Thank you.